you doing? This is Miss T here, and I am here to show you a really great lesson from my flipped classroom. Today, I want you to know you can pause this video anytime you want. Also, I want you to know on my website is a breakdown of the project you will do using the material in this cool flipped classroom model. Yoohoo! You guys rock. Don't forget that. I always tell you that, I know, but you guys are awesome. You're going to create great projects and bring them into school. I can't wait to see them. And lastly, dun -dun, there will be trivia in here somewhere. I'm not going to tell you where, but somewhere within the video, there's going to be a question that you need to answer and bring to school tomorrow. So let's get started. Okay. Acerubrum, Red Maple, Episode 1, The Overview. Isn't that a pretty cool scene? It's all folly and nice. Wish I could go jump in the leaves, make a scarecrow or something. Well, anyway, let's get going. Okay, we're going to do a couple things here. Actually, three. We're going to do nomenclature. That just is a type of system for naming plants. That's all that means. Pretend that says name, not nom. Name and clature. Dun dun. Next is going to be morphology. Another big word. I know. It's just simple, though. It just means the shape of something, the shape or form of something. We'll go over that. And third, basic leaf parts. You're going to use this when you create your end project that you're going to bring to school tomorrow. Let's get going. This guy, you have him to thank for nomenclature. Dun, dun, dun. He is Carl Linnaeus, and he developed the system that we now use for naming plants. Why do we have a system for naming plants? Well, I'll show you. Common name, right? Red maple. Well, you see, people would name plants whatever they want. And so, if they didn't have a scientific name like Acer rubrum that was used all the time for this lovely leaf, we would have issues because a lot of times plants are used for medicine, for example. And if people just went around naming them whatever they want, people could use the wrong plant for the wrong thing and get really sick. It would not be a good thing. Okay, on to the next word. Morphology. I know, it's a big word, but really, check this out. It's not so hard. See this circle? See this triangle? See this square? I know, you're like, Miss T, what are you doing? Are we in kindergarten? No, of course we're not in kindergarten. But I'm just letting you know, this is morphology. The circle is the name for this shape. Triangle, name for this shape. Square, name for this shape. I know, and on and on and so forth. So, that's all it is. Check it out. We have a leaf. This is a red maple leaf. Its shape is called palmate. I used the hand so you could remember. Palm, palmate, I know. Kind of corny. I get it, but it works. Using things like this to remember things. Similes like this. Palm. Palm. Palmate leaf. Palm. Ta da On to morphology. Acerubrum leaf. In stereo. Get your tickets out. And... Hey guys, welcome back! Well, okay, you just watched my really, really cool, awesome video. So now we're going to go on to basic leaf vocabulary, which is really important if you're going to be a plant scientist, you're going to be in landscape architecture, a florist. There's many different areas where you need to know the different terminology so you can create great projects. So, uh, wait a minute, hmm, we haven't done our trivia question yet, have we? Here it is. Drum roll. What Star Wars character did I eat dinner with? Hmm. Let's think back to somewhere we may have seen a Star Wars character. 
Hmm. Anyway, that's your trivia question to bring to class tomorrow. Let's continue with basic leaf vocabulary. Oh, no, yawning, and please don't fall asleep. I don't want to send Garfield here over to your house. Okay! Yeah! dun dun Netting. What does that have to do with leaf morphology, a net, and a beach? Well, there's a term, netting, and it happens to be leaves. Check this out right here. This here. Do you see this leaf part in the center of these veins? That's called the netting of a leaf. Onto vein. Ha! Ah, I just used that word, vein. Yep, we have veins, right? Well, guess what? Leaves do too. And they're right here. Kind of looks sort of familiar, huh? That's why they named them veins. They carry water and nutrients throughout the plant. Really important, just like it is for people. Da! Midrib. I was kind of hungry when I made this, This, you know, it was, oh, ribs. I love ribs. Anyway, so, ribs, yep. Look this. Right here. Midrib. Mid, like middle. Rib. Like strong structure. This leaf here has a midrib. It's the center vein of the leaf right here. Really, really sturdy and rigid usually gives it structure. Lobe. We have lobes, right? We have ear lobes. <laughs> well, leaves have lobes too. This red maple, one, two, three. It has three lobes. Not too, do not too hard, huh? We can do this stuff, right? And remember, pause the video anytime you want. Take notes. Margin. Yep. <clears throat> Paper has a margin. You have margin in when you're writing in white Microsoft Word, right? Well, leaves have margins too. It means the edge of something. They have all different leaf margins. Acer has its own leaf margin, and you would use to a, a key to look at that margin in a book to make sure that you have the right terminology to the right leaf. It helps you ID things. You don't want to ID the wrong plant. I don't want to touch poison ivy accidentally, ouch, that would really be bad. It would itch and I would have all blisters and it would be horrible. Anyway, so that's why we need to know all of these items so we can ID things properly. Sinus, oh dear, Mr. Pinocchio. Well, you know, when he lies, his nose grows and he happens to grow and grow and grow and he creates a bush thing here with leaves all around it. But that has nothing to do with sinus with a plant. Sinuses in our nose, yeah, they can kind of bother you if you have a really bad cold. But there are sinuses on a leaf. This acerubrum leaf right here, the sinus is in between the lobes. It's the indentation. That's all that it means. Sinus of my nose translates to, well, the cavity on a leaf right here, this indent. You with me still? I hope so. And it's project time! Okay. Guys, I gave you some poster board in class and a whole bunch of crayons and markers and some samples of paint. And what else did I give you? I gave you an Acer Rubrum branch with leaves on it. You are going to go to Mrs. T's website homework page section that has all the outlines for your project. Tomorrow, bring it to class. I can't wait to see it. And remember, use your blow dryer on the paint so you don't have wet, sticky paint coming into class tomorrow. Best of luck to you. Mrs. T out.